Hey friends, what's up? Moses here at the Driver Success Channel. As you can see, you probably haven't seen me wear this. Uh, this is from my wife. My wife gave me this um, uh, because uh, she wanted me to keep warm out here on the road. Uh, this week has really, really been crazy. Um, it's been raining ever since the week started and it's been cold. And as you know, when you have the cold and the rain mixed together, what you have uh, sometimes is ice. So we've had some icy roads here. And of course, that comes with accidents and jackknives and all that stuff. So um, I'm here to pick up a load. So I figured as I wait for the load, I should put in a quick video just to share some tips that you and I can use uh, to help us be safe out there. Uh, for those that have been driving for a while, you probably have had most of these tips, uh, but it's a good thing to always be reminded of them. For those that are new, uh, you may find yourself in a situation where you have uh, some of these bad, uh, the bad weather, where you have rain, uh, icy roads, snow. So uh, hopefully these tips can help you out. Now, uh, there are simple tips and uh, Probably some other driver can come up with more uh, tips, but I just thought of a few tips that I can share with you. The very first tip that I'm going to give is only uh, to those people that believe it and those people are willing to try it out because I know some drivers out there will not believe it. So this only applies to you if you believe it or you are willing to try it out. So tip number one is pray. Yes, you heard me right. I said pray. It's amazing how many uh, people do not believe in the power of prayer. But I personally, if you have um, seen the video where I talk about myself, you know that I'm a Christian and prayer is one of the things that I believe uh, in. There are things that I can control and there are things that I can't control that I just decide to surrender to God. So for me, one of the things that I surrender to God is uh, protection. Uh, I ask him to protect me among us other things that I do pray for. So never take things for granted. If you do believe in prayer, always pray. If you don't believe in prayer, give it a try. It may help you out. Tip number two, if it is unsafe for you to drive, do not drive. That seems like a simple tip, but it's something that will save your life and probably save the lives of others. If at any one point you think that it is not safe for you to drive, pack that, tra pack that truck and don't drive. So tip number three, use the three point contact. So some of you or most of you who have gone through school or you go through orientation with a company or safety meetings, you know that one of the things they talk about is that when we are getting in and out of our trucks, we should use the three-point contact. So you make sure that at any given time, you have three points of contact. It is amazing how many times that has saved me. There are times I've been getting in or out of a truck and I almost fell. But because I was utilizing those three points of contact, I was able to hold myself and pull myself out. I have personally seen a driver who fell out of the truck and hit his head down on concrete. That was very painful. It was at night and it was very painful. So during that time when uh, you have snow, when, you ha when it's wet, when it's icy, you really want to remind yourself to get out uh, to get in and out of the truck while using the three-point contact. It will help save you a lot of injury. Tip number four, slow down. Slow down. It's really amazing how the mind works. The mind works in such a way that um, it can, uh, unconsciously you can be able to do things without you knowing that you are doing them. So during the good weather, usually we, we tend to drive at a certain speed, right? And your mind sometimes will get used to driving at that speed. And so when the bad weather comes in, you do not even realize that you are still driving at the same speed as, uh, as you were driving uh, or as you always drive during the good weather. 
So one of the things that I use to help me slow down is, other than just looking at the distance that I have between me and the vehicles around me, or the vehicle ahead of me, I do use my speedometer to see what speed I'm traveling at. And sometimes I will catch myself thinking that I'm slow, but realize that based on my speedometer, I'm probably moving faster than I want to move. And what I do is I, I bring it down a little bit. Don't worry about how fast others are driving. Just slow down. Tip number five. Now for this tip, it really applies if it is raining a lot. If you're driving in a lot of rain, try as much as possible to avoid the end lanes, the very last alpha lanes. The reason why you want to avoid those lanes is because water tends to be in those last lanes. That's where you'll find stagnant water. If a place is flooding, those last lanes are usually the lanes where you have the water. And so if you come in, it will be easy for you to lose traction with the road. It will be easy for you to hydroplane. So if you can avoid the very last end lanes as you drive, avoid them, stay within the middle. So tip number six. Now this again applies uh, when you're driving like in wet conditions, icy conditions. What I usually want to do is in addition to being slow, every now and then I want to test out my brakes, slightly tap them, slightly tap those brakes. What I'm trying to do there is, uh, there are a couple of things. One, I'm trying to have a feel of my brakes, how, how they are working, right? Uh, because if I need to use them, I want to know what kind of pressure I want to apply on those brakes. But the other thing too is because of the wet season, because of the water and the ice, uh, there is less friction between the brake pads. So by me, every now and then, slightly tapping those uh, brake pads is I'm trying to to dry out those brake pads. I'm trying to cause a little friction so that there's a little dryness. Because when I need those brakes, I want to make sure that I have them. So uh, again, uh, it's a twofold thing. I'm trying to, to get a sense of how that my brakes are, uh, are working, but also I'm trying to remove that water, all that ice build up. I'm trying to cause a little bit of friction and let them dry a little bit. So every now and then when it's safe to do so, I slightly tap those brakes. Again, it's not a, a big tap, it's just a slight tap to get a feel of those brakes and to dry them out. Tip number seven, don't let other drivers dictate how you drive. Always remember, it is your responsibility to make sure that you are safe and to help keep the other people that are using the road safe. So um, you'll be driving ar along and you see other drivers drive in funny ways. Some of them may be driving fast and I'm not just talking about the four wheelers. Uh, sometimes you'll see some of other truck drivers come and pass you going real fast. Um, and when you don't know what you're doing, you may, you may be tempted to go as fast as they are going just because you feel like after all they are going fast, that means it's safe. That is not true. Just because another driver is driving faster than you are does not mean that they are safe drivers. So do not let that um, kind of uh, put you in pressure to think that you are supposed to drive fast or just because somebody is tailgating you doesn't mean you are supposed to speed up. Always be on the safe side of things. So always um, drive in a way where you feel it is safe to do so. Do not drive based on how other people are driving. And I say that uh, based on, let me say, do not drive based on how other bad drivers are driving. If they are going fast, let them go. Be slow. Yeah, if they, they are not keeping their distance, you keep, their, you keep your distance. If somebody cuts you off, reduces your distance, slow down and gain your following distance. So don't let other people dictate how you drive. Always be on the safe side. Tip number eight. This is the last tip that I have for you guys. Um, this will apply even more for those of you that drive in the night season. 
Um, my schedule, the way my schedule is, I start at 2 p.m. and I usually get off between 1 and 2 uh, a.m. Which means that I have part of my driving in the day and then part of the other driving in the night. And when it comes to driving at night, especially when it is icy, you have to be very careful. What happens in the night, you don't have as much traffic as you have during the day. So some of the roads that have very little traffic will tend to get ice a little faster than the roads that have traffic. Because if you don't have cars creating friction on the roads, that means it's easy for ice to form on those roads. So uh, one of the things you want to be very, very careful if you are driving at night is you want to know the routes that you take. If you can avoid the routes that have less traffic, avoid those uh, routes and try to take uh, the main, uh, like the freeways, the main roads that have traffic on them. Because at least that tries to prevent uh, ice from forming on the road surfaces. If you take a road that does not have uh, a lot of traffic, be extra careful, slow down, take your time. So let me give you an example. Yesterday I was done with my last load, I get an empty from the receiver and I head back, I start heading back to, to the yard. And just before I get to the yard, there, were, uh, there was a bridge and I was moving slow. But on this bridge, ice had started forming and I was empty. So as I hit uh, that bridge, I hit ice and my trailer and my truck was just moving all over the place. I was just trying to get control of it. Uh, thankfully, I was moving slow and thankfully, I applied the very first um, uh, tip that I gave you. I called on the name of Jesus. Now, as I said, this only applies to those that believe this. So I called the name of Jesus Christ. And for those of you who know what I'm talking about, you know that the name of Jesus is very powerful. So for me, it worked because as soon as I called on Jesus that thing just straightened out some people won't believe it some people will say oh there he goes yes there I go it works for me it's not the first time it, wor it, it works it works for me when I need help I call on his name and he comes through for me if you are a driver and you have some tips that you can share with us i would like to hear them just leave them in the comment below other than that if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please please do subscribe to the channel i want to hit 1000 subscribers right now i'm at like 206 i still have a lot to go so hit the subscribe button and be part of the driver success channel until next time stay blessed stay safe out there Bye-bye.